Guys, have I got one for you here today. Take a look. This little blue coupe with a little surprise. Small block Ford. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and we are still at Mustang week here, guys, but I've got a special feature to do for you today on this Fox body right here behind me. This is an 88 blue flame metallic coupe. That is just, man, it's sick. I'm glad how the light is hitting it right now. Uh, the owner is actually Chad. I'm gonna bring him in here in just a minute, but I wanna go ahead, do my little cinematic for you guys, show you around the car, because this thing is clean. It is in the show here at Mustang Week, and it should be, and it should be. Obviously, we're still at Mustang Week. So anyway, let's go ahead, take a look around it. All right, guys, I do have the owner here with me, Chad. Chad, welcome to the channel. Thanks for sharing the car here with us today. And this is your first time Mustang week, right? Yes, first yeah, time here. You're loving it so far? Yes, it's been a great time. Well, you're staying in the cool house. I think they've got Ken, Blowable Media, we got Foxcast, you got uh, Mario, v -Notch. You got all the crew over there. And that's how I found out about you, which is really cool. Uh, but he's also on Instagram. What's your Instagram again? The underscore Chadwick Daniel. Okay, and I'll put it up on the screen and they can follow you on that. But. This coupe is just so beautiful, it really caught my eye, and uh, there's a story behind it. I believe you said that what, this is your third Fox body? Yes. Okay, and a lot of your friends were into Foxes, right? And yes. this one you found now, it was original 5 car LX, you were saying? Is that right? Okay. Yeah, correct. And so, what did you do? Like, you were telling me a little bit of the history, but yeah, tell the viewers kind of how it got to this point. You, you basically parted it out at first, right? Yeah, so I bought it as a running 306 five-speed nitrous car, factory suspension, mostly everything factory underneath, factory interior. And yeah. I drove it one time for two hours after I bought it and I stripped it down to a shell of a car and it sat that way for four years. Oh, it sat that way for four years, I didn't yes. realize that. You've, you've owned it for eight years in total, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a great idea to try to build a car and buy a house at the same time. So, oh, really? Yeah. You like challenges, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It didn't work out too well. <laughs> no, it usually never does. Well, I, I'm in the middle of two builds for a while, but that one's done for a little bit, so I understand. Okay, so and you took all mo all the parts off of it. Uh, you sold the engine too, the 306? Yeah, yeah, sold engine, transmission, suspension, rear end, sold everything I could, and then just started buying the parts that I wanted to put in it. So basically, it was kind of like a Lego set. You just wanted to assemble your own. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so what is uh, the suspension on it right now? Because it's got a nice ride height. Right now, it's got uh, strange coilovers front and rear, and it's sitting on an AJE K member for right now, but actually, Steve over at UPR took yep. all my money today, so. Oh, okay, um, it, they're good at that. <laughs> it'll, yeah, it'll actually have full UPR suspension under it here uh, next year when I come. What about struts and shocks? Strange 10-way adjustables, and then Viking Springs, and then the UP, UPR coilover kit on there. Okay, so you have that to match the K member. Yeah. Uh, these look like, to me, some big brakes. What kind of brakes are we looking at right here? They're off an 03 Cobra. They're 13 inch rotors okay. in the front, and then uh, 03 Cobra rears with, uh, what are they, 11.6 or whatever they call it. Okay, it's still the Cobra calipers too? Yes, okay. Yep. And what are these wheels actually? Because everyone always asks me what the wheel and tire yeah. combo is. They're CCW D110s okay. um, in the color hyper black. And, I like uh, hyper bike. I like the black off the blue. Yes, yes. The rears are 17 by 10 with a 6.5 inch backspace. The fronts are 17 by five and a half. Okay, did you have to do like roll the fenders for any clearance at all or? I had to roll the rears. The fronts rolled themselves. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. And uh, obviously probably the quad shocks are gone, which you don't really need quad oh, shocks. Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Bra the brackets don't exist on this rear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, isn't it a fully built 8.8 .8 you were saying? Yeah, yeah, 31 spline, strange axles, it's a full school, 373 gears. 373 gears, which that's the same gears I have. And when I had my five speed, I had trouble like, you know, cruising the highway. I guess you had something similar because your trans, what trans you go with? I actually have a T56 out of an 03 Cobra. Yeah, so you've got the six speed for cruising on the highway, right? Makes it a lot easier, right? Well, and it's just, it was different. Not many people back where I'm from in St. Louis had it. So yeah. I did it just to be different. Yeah, but yours actually needs it because it holds a lot of torque, the C56 Magnums. 
and what you got underneath the hood, I'm sure it makes a little bit of torque, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so guys, here's a little sneak peek at what's under the hood. It's a small block Ford. There we go, I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got MSD ignition. Yeah, I forgot to ask what um, EFI setup are you running, or is it carburetor? It's actually a factory computer with just uh, the chip in it. Oh, you got like super chip stand or something? Yeah. Okay, I got the same thing, that's very yep. cool. That's old school, but it works. Yeah. Obviously, you got the roll cage. Now, these are Corbo seats? Yeah, they're Corbo GTS 2s. Okay. And you obviously got racing harness. It's really clean. And so, uh, was this the actual original color of the interior otherwise? Yeah, it's the okay. titanium gray. Titanium gray. Yeah. Okay. Cup holder console. Removable steering wheel. That is very cool. I like that. So, it's basically, it looks like a race car. <laughs> got, a, got a roll cage in it. Oh, okay, good. You got the fire extinguisher in there. Yes. That's a good thing to have in a Fox, right? Well, I built the car, so. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, actually, I don't think I mentioned that, but he did all the work on this, you know? Um, did you even prep it for paint? I know you took it to a paint shop to paint it. No, so when I bought it, it was just painted. Oh, so it was painted when you and, bought it. Yeah, okay. so wet sanding and buffing and everything. Yeah, because you said they never wet sanded it, so you spent, how many hours did you spend wet sanding this car? I don't even know. Yeah, it's a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, gauge-wise, we've got all kinds of good gauges in here. What was, what's this cluster? Uh, it's a Florida 5 Oak cluster. Florida 5 I bought the uh, blank one, and I did it all myself. Oh, nice. I like it when, uh, see, I started out like paying shops to do all my stuff. And then I realized, you know what? You can do this yourself. You yeah. just have to learn. So, yeah. and, and it's a lot more rewarding, I feel like, when you do the work yourself, here fire up, you know, and all that, right? Yes. Also has the Maker's Garage front splitter, guys. Very aggressive look. Love that. And then over here, pinch weld covers, which, you know, stops people with crazy jacks, you know, from busting up your pinch welds. Also, it looks really good. But uh, I, I did do that back in the day sadly but uh let's not talk about that <laughs> well let's look under the hood guys because obviously small block ford but i didn't tell you what kind yet <laughs> oh and he does not have uh wipers and he was also telling me you've got uh you don't have any fender line inner fender well liners, yeah, no, right? no inner fender wells no nothing like so that so with all the rain we've had down here this week it's been a little scary <laughs> it, it, yeah one night i barely made it back <laughs> oh man yeah. well, we're glad you made it look at this clean engine bay now did you do the bay yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, all the panels are from Scott Rod, and Man. I did them all myself. It's so clean. It's so clean. I love that. I mean, and and don't think I'm just saying that, guys. I mean, in case you're not sure either, Chad, take a look at my engine bay here. Not clean compared <laughs> to yours. <laughs> Functional, but not clean. So I like this. I like the. Actually, I do like the clear tube. But what are we looking at here? Actually, it's a factory triple X block out of a boat. Um, oh, out of a boat? Yes, out of a boat. Oh, wow. So 347, right? Yes, 347, Cali Spring, Cali Rods, uh, JE Pistons, Total Seal Rings, uh, Holly System Max heads, just off the shelf, no port work, no nothing. Uh, Holly System Max upper and lower. Uh, What's the cam on it? Uh, it's just an F cam for right now. Oh, I love how the F cam yeah. sounds, actually. It sounds really good. I noticed that when you're backing in. So, and you said the the heads are Holly as well? Yeah, yeah, they are. They're Holly System Max heads. I forgot. I forgot that Holly did that because they used to have that whole System Max kit, right? Yep, that's so. pretty much what this is. Okay. What kind of a throttle body? That looks like kind of a big one. It's just a Holly. 75? Yeah, 75. Okay. I like the air intake you did there. Yeah, too. that's an Anderson intake as well. It's okay. Like four inch. Yeah, they call that the power pipe, I think, or something like that? Uh, yeah, I think that's what they call it. Okay. But yeah, very clean and he drives it or he's been driving it all weekend here. How much do you really drive the car? Is it more of a weekend warrior type thing or? It used to be just a garage queen really. And then last year when there wasn't that many people on the road, I just thought I built this car, I'm not gonna look at it. So I started, <laughs> I started driving it to work on nice days when it's sunny, Yeah. not cloudy yet. Yeah. The cluster started over at zero. And so for the past year and a half, I put 2000 miles on it. Right on. So yeah, it's not just a garage queen anymore. Oh, I love it. What, what's your exhaust here? I forgot to ask you about that. BBK long tubes, BBK X pipe to Spintech Super Pro Street 9000 mufflers. That's a very unique combination. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really hear about that muffler setup very often. I'm also going to take a look under the trunk here, guys. He's relocated the battery, which I should have noticed. I didn't notice. Your engine bay was so clean, I should have noticed you relocated that. But that is clean. So you did all that, uh, all this work back here yourself? Yes. What are these here, actually? So those are actually factory, uh, the factory panels. Then okay. I refinished the backside of them and then just wrapped to match the 
Decker. What's the Huber performance? Because I see that here and on your shirt. So that is uh, John Huber, the fastest four cylinder Mustang. Okay. 79. It's gray. Yeah, he's just been a family friend. His nephew is a very, very close friend of mine. So, and we all have cars and stuff. Okay. Yep. So supporting him. Yep. That's cool. Love it. What actually really kind of got you into Fox Bodies? Was it just your friends? Because you said this was kind of your third one. So why Fox Body? You're like a young guy. You're not an old guy like me. So. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm kind of old at heart. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I grew up helping my dad work on his cars. My brother always had old cars. My uncle still has old cars. And I just like the way they look. I like the platform. It's really yeah. easy to work on. And I thought I was going to get into racing, but when I started building this, I was like, I'm never going to be the fastest out of my friends. So I might as well just try to be the best looking. Yeah. <laughs> so. And the so uniqueness, yeah. you know? Uh, have you actually had it on the dyno? I forgot to ask that. Uh, yeah, it made 370 to the rear tires. NA? Yeah. Wow. Uh, this motor was actually in one of my buddy's hatchbacks and it had a 76 millimeter on it. Okay. So it-, it That's for, a lot of power for NA. It made the turbo oh, right somewhere, I want to say in the 600s. Oh, so you did have a turbo on it at one point. Uh, I did not, my buddy okay. did when he- Oh, yeah. then when the engine was in his car and you got yeah. it from him? Yep. I got you. So have you drag raced it at all or is it just- Yes, yes I have. Uh, eighth mile or quarter mile? mile? Eighth mile only, just that like test in tune. Okay, yeah. It really should be a bracket car. That's what everybody tells me, even though it's a stick shift because yeah. I can go a constant 780, which is really slow, but I can do it at 100 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour, it doesn't matter. 780 no matter what? Yeah, that's what you want to be. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's like these brand new S550s, usually they run mid to low eights. So when you think about it, you've got this 88, beating those brand new yeah. S550s and you look a lot better. Yeah. So nothing to be ashamed of, especially a long time ago, I used to dry, uh, drag race on the channel, this car, not very well. I did not come close to a 780. <laughs> so we're not gonna talk about that. If you wanna see that, that's on an older video. That's very cool. I love it. I love that you're out here at Mustang Week and most importantly, I love that you shared the car with the channel. So thanks for doing that. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate you, you Ted. Oh, absolutely, love it. So anyway, that's gonna kind of be it for this one. If you do want to see more of this car, do you own any of the other Foxes anymore? There's only one you own. No, this is the only one I own. Okay. If you do want to see more of this car, he does have a, uh, obviously Instagram I already mentioned, and he also has a TikTok. And I'll put the TikTok up on the screen because I'm not too good at TikTok. So I think what I'm going to do, Chad, I'm going to start following your TikTok and steal all your ideas. So at least I can get a thousand followers. Right. Sounds good. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what I do to get all the followers <laughs> I have. I just... Well, if I can figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Is a small bout floored. <laughs> small bout floored. So um, let's look at the, uh, I think I said floored. Yeah. I'm, guys, I'm tired. This is one of the last videos. This is going in the bloopers. Let's try that again.